Hey guys, welcome back to the Letterhead Studios and a quick little note update before I actually get started. Uh, I've spent a lot of time not talking and I've spent an awful lot of time uh, getting familiar with the feeling that's been going on in my throat and I think it's not my vocal cords but rather um, the musculature or something connected to the underside of my tongue which may or may not be lymph nodes. So I, I'm still going to go see a doctor and try and figure out what's going on. But I just thought I'd inform you that that's what's going on. And that's why I haven't been recording very much. So I got some feedback. And um, I was told that I should try and dedicate a portion of the end of the episode to talk about what it is that I like so far and what it is that I hope to see in the rest of the game. And try to make some sort of prediction as to what's going to happen. I... Um, don't think I'll do it every time, but I will try to speak my mind a little bit more about what it is that I think is going to happen, because I usually just try to stay in the moment. Uh, of course, in the moment me is sometimes very stupid, and I'll make guesses as to what's going to happen, that <laughs> when you look at what happens later, and then you look back, the logic just isn't there. But I will try my best to continue doing that, or do something of that variation um, so let's just get right to it. All right, we got this key thing. Let's do it. Let's use this key we borrowed from the village elder. Okay. Oh, decisions, decisions. Let's head this way first. God. Mm. Crafting it is. Or Yeah. Using arts is what I meant to say. Abysmal. Oh crap, it lives. It summoned another one. Oh my god, it summoned another one. Die, please. Mm, okay. Oh, are we done already? Uh, so we're gonna have to level up at some point. Either that or this is the wrong direction, and that's why the enemies are stronger. Oh, I hope this is the correct direction. Well, that's a dead end. It's bright in here. Isn't that the... Quiet, Estelle. It looks like we've hit the jackpot. Forget about the heavy things and focus on food provisions and valuables. 
Then hurry it up, will ya? It's only a matter of time before someone finds this place. Roger, Kyle! What's an airliner doing in a place like this? I guess that kid wasn't seeing things after all. This looks like an area that used to be used for strip mining. It certainly turned out to be a great place to hide something of this size. Yeah, who would have thought to look here? Look at that. Aren't they loading the airliner cargo into their own ship? Let's worry about that later. We've got to figure out a way to bag these guys before they get away again. So this is our third trip, huh? Man, Don can be a real slave driver sometimes. Oh well. Once this is all taken care of, we'll be able to sit back and negotiate a nice, fat ransom. Hold it right there! Who in the... The scorching flames of justice shall never fade away as long as evil thrives in this world. The League of Extraordinary Bracers has arrived! Huh? The League of what? You bonehead, why do you always get carried away like that? What's with you two? Now I look like a big fool saying that stuff all alone. You're the ones who Josette had a run in back in Roland. This can't be right. You're not supposed to be here this early. It can't be right? We're not supposed to be here this early? What the heck are you talking about? In accordance with the laws of the Bracer Guild, you are hereby under arrest and charged with the hijacking of an airliner and its passengers. I hope for your sakes you'll come along quietly. Now hold on a minute. Are you trying to tell me that only the three of you came here to arrest us? You see anybody else, Bandit Boy? So you're not involved with the others then, huh? And that simplifies things. Let's get them, boys. Hmm. Okay, well, Joshua might be in a fix, but we'll, we'll, we'll do our best. <laughs> All right, now to take on the peons. Oh, poison. Not good. Nicely done. Just stole that bonus from route under him. So I should be okay. Ow. That's what I like to see. Nice. What? That guy's glitched. 
Okay, well, whatever. He just looks like he's standing. Ow. And you're done, son. Oh, hang on. Now you're done. Piece of cake. <laughs> Ow! You guys are tougher than I thought. It's no wonder Josette got beat by you three. Sweet talk won't get you anywhere, buddy. It's time to surrender and let the passengers go. <laughs> you really don't know anything, do you? What was that you called yourselves? League of the Exceptionally Dim or something? Are you making fun of my team name? You're dead. Look out! What is this? You've got to be kidding me. Another smokescreen? <laughs> it's too bad about the rest of the cargo, but we'll just have to live without it. Later, bracers! Some of it got in my eyes. Don't worry, it's not poisonous. It looks like it was a typical smoke canister. Their ship is already out of sight. This is getting really old. It's not once, but twice now they've gotten away. If I get demoted for this at the guild, there's not much I can say in my defense. Oh, Shara, quit acting like it was all your fault. We're responsible for letting them get away, too. If we've got time to kick ourselves over this, then we've got some other constructive things we can do. Well, well, you sound like you should be a senior bracer. At least we were able to take back the airliner, so how about we have a look? The passengers may be inside. Right! Wow, it's pretty bare in here. There's not a piece of cargo left. Evidently, the Sky Bandits managed to make off with it all. At least, judging by the looks of things. At any rate, we should do a thorough investigation of the place. Oh boy, hope there's no monsters. Here's a lift car. It looks like the same type as those at the landing port. The Sky Bandits probably used this to move the cargo. It looks like this is the captain's seat. If these were any other circumstances, I would love to sit here. Don't even think about it. Looking pretty empty. I wonder what this is. It's the orbital engine control panel. It looks like the flow of orbital energy has completely stopped. We checked it over, but it looks like there's nobody inside. There's a high possibility the passengers were transferred to the Sky Bandits airship. And then to wherever their hideout is. Agreed. This sucks. Right when I thought we had some clues, we're back to zero. Come on, cheer up already. It's not like every clue has completely vanished. Why do you think the Sky Bandits hid the airliner in a place like this? Huh? As far as I can tell, the orbital energy in the ship has completely stopped. Which means that the orbital engine was stripped from the aircraft. I know this because the orbital energy in an orbment gradually recharges over time. Furthermore, the Sky Bandits made multiple trips to carry off a large amount of cargo. Considering the time and risk involved, don't you think it would have been more effective just to take the entire airliner to their hideout? Yeah, that does seem a little odd. So, why'd they hide the airliner here then? All I can think of is that they hid it in order to... Ditch it? That's exactly right. From my guess, I would imagine that their hideout is in a slightly peculiar place. Maybe to... 10 to 15 arg in size. In short, a particular place on which only a small aircraft like the Sky Bandit's airship could land. Interesting. How about a terrain covered with extreme differences in heights, like mountains and ravines? That seems like a likely place for the Sky Bandit's hideout. Yes, that's what I've been thinking too. However, if that's the case, then we may be unable to do anything else. There's the possibility that their hideout may be in a place we can't reach by foot. Then what can we do? Well, I hate to say it, 
But we may have to share our conclusions with the army and ask for their cooperation. Because they're the ones with the patrol ships. What? Now you're trying to tell us that we should go crawling back to the army to ask them for help? Either way, we still have to report to them about the airliner. Personally speaking, I still think we should cooperate with the army. Whatever their attitude may be. Especially if that means bringing the hostages back safe and sound. I guess you're right. This isn't the time or place to be letting my personal feelings get the best of me. For the time being, let's get back to the guild and report our findings to Legrand. We should be able to contact the Hawken Gate if we use our orbital telephone. Alrighty. Let's get to it. Huh? What the heck? Great, now this is something I didn't expect. I wonder if we should be glad since they saved us the trouble of having to contact them. We found a suspicious armed group! Put your hands in the air, all of you! What is this world coming to? A woman and two kids are the Sky Bandits? Though the girl does look shifty. Hey, now that's just rude, and who are you calling Sky Bandits? Can't you see this shiny emblem on my chest? A yeah, bracer emblem, huh? I hope you don't think for a moment something like this proves your innocence. General Morgan? Why are you here? After looking over the reports of my men, I found this place to have been insufficiently investigated, so I came to see for myself. Who would have thought the lot of you were conspiring with Sky Bandits? Might I get you to stop with the accusations, General? We happen to find this place one step ahead of your men. If that's the truth, then why don't you tell me where the Sky Bandits are? Are the hostages inside that airliner? We almost had the Sky Bandits, but they managed to escape. And there are no hostages to be found here. <laughs> it looks like the truth has come out. Most likely, you notify the Sky Bandits to let them know we are coming. Wait a minute here. How about you cut with the crap? My thoughts exactly! Alright, men. Take them into custody. 